from the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter. I'm going to pull out certain scriptures and I want you to listen to me well because I want to equip you and I want to encourage you and even instruct you. This district meeting, while it's only been for the two nights, it is my prayer that it has been effective enough for you to glean from. So Ephesians, the fourth chapter, I'm going to read verse 12 and then I'm going to read verse 16. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 12 and verse 16. It reads as this. For the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Verse 16. From whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by what which every part does its share causes growth of the body of Christ for the edifying of itself in love. I want to talk about doing my part to be a blessing. Doing my part to be a blessing. Paul writes this letter to the church at Ephesus and I believe even to you and I as saints and North Houston District, I really want you to hear my heart from this. As Paul writes this letter, he reminds them that God not only brought us together, but he reminds us of the gift of leadership that he has given to us. Verse 12 says something that I pray that you will grab on to because there are three areas there that's important. He says, the reason in verse 11 I've given you the leadership that you have as a gift is for the equipping of the saints. Every part of the church, you and I, are not only important, but we have a part to play. And he says, the leadership of your church is designed to equip you, to prepare you, to get you ready. So when he says, for the equipping, he's letting us know that there's a reason why the preacher preaches. There's a reason why the teacher teaches. It is to equip us. But then he goes on and says, for the work of ministry. I'm not just equipping you to look good, to shine, but I'm equipping you to work in ministry. There's something that God has blessed you with that he wants you to work in ministry. What is ministry? It is God's program operating in our lives through the church. It is God's program operating in ministry through the church. So he says, I've given you pastors. I've given you teachers. I've given you leadership so that they will equip you so that you will work in ministry. Everything that a God has blessed you with, there ought to be a major part for ministry. There ought to be a major part for you to say, God, what you have gifted me with, I'm going to use it for your glory. I'm going to use it to, to uh, expand and, and, and use it to advance the kingdom. He says, for the equipping of the saints. Secondly, for the work of ministry. And then he brings out in verse 12, for the edifying of of the body of Christ, for the building up of God's body. Now, this is important because he's simply saying what you have ought to help somebody else. What you do ought to help strengthen, build up somebody else. Now, note this. There are two parts to that because the first part is actually in reach, and that means the ministry in the church. The second part is outreach. That means the ministry outside of the four walls. That means not only am I to be a blessing to my brothers and sisters, a part of the ministry, but also I ought to be a blessing to those that are in the community around me, whether it's in your neighborhood or on your job or wherever you are, because you are equipped to do ministry, you ought to be a blessing. He declares there in verse 12, 
for the edifying of the body of Christ. When everybody does its part, it strengthens the body of Christ to do its part. Then verse 16 here, and I'm almost done because I simply wanted to encourage you on this. Verse 16 says, from whom the whole body joined and knit together. He says that every part that you do, no matter what area of ministry that you are in, we are actually supposed to come together to help one another, come together to strengthen one another. He says we are joined and knit together. You fit somewhere. You have a place somewhere. Just as every piece of the puzzle is important and there is a place for it, you fit somewhere in the strengthening of this body. He goes on to say, uh, uh, knit together by what every joint supplies. That simply means something goes lacking when you don't do a part. Some area. Preacher, I'm not as eloquent as you may be in speaking. I may not be able to sing or play like musicians. I may not be able to sing like the praise team, but I can smile and encourage somebody that they're in the right place to encourage them, to strengthen them. He says, by which every part does its share. Then he goes on in verse 16 and says, according to the effective working by which every part does its share. Now this is vital right here. He says, I want you to be effective in what you do. So not only do something, do your best, and it will affect somebody's life. Have there ever been anybody uh, in a church you went to or in ministry that it looks like they find all of the faults? They're affecting ministry in a negative way. But I believe this text brings out for you and I that God has given men and women uh, to lead us, to equip us for the work of ministry, to build up the body of Christ so that we will be a positive effect on people and in their lives. He says, by which every, according to, air, to the effective working, by which every part does its share. When we come together, when we say, preacher, I'll be a part of ministry. What are some areas? Well, somebody may simply say, I can't do much, but I'll be a part of the preparation ministry. I'll come in and make sure the house of God is clean. I'll come in and make sure that it is disinfected or, or that it is sanitized. I'll come in and make sure that the atmosphere smells good. Every person can be effective in ministry. Somebody else can say, preacher, I may not have the time for that, but when I'm at church, I'll be early for church and I'll come in and be a greeter at the door to say welcome to the house of God. It's good to have you among the saints of God. Get ready for a great time. Every person can be effective. Somebody else can say, preacher, can I be a part of the people who announce something in church? Can I be a part of behind the scenes with audio or visual ministry? Can I be a part of, there are so many parts in ministry that you can be an effective part. Lastly, he says, by which every part does its share, causes growth to the body of Christ for the edifying of itself in love. He says, when you do this, when you do your part, he says, in that, when you do it with the right motive, in love, you're going to cause growth. Somebody is going to grow from that. Spiritually, intellectually, emotionally, numerically, even financially, when you do your part, he says, there's going to be growth. I love to minister. I love to instruct people by the word of God. I, I love to encourage you. And I pray that this, this word that is given tonight will encourage you to take a part in ministry. Find somewhere to say, I, I want to be involved. Find somewhere in ministry to say, I'm going to connect. I'm going to be committed. They can trust me because I'm equipped for the work of ministry. I'm equipped to help the body strengthen itself. I'm equipped. I want to at a, be at a point where I love to be there. They can depend on me. They can count on me. Tonight, I simply want to encourage you. 
get involved in ministry. You may not be in church right now, but you can get involved in pre preparing to go back in church. Get involved tonight. Connect with us. Connect with your church. Connect with your church and say, I'm ready to get involved. Brothers, the church needs you. The body of Christ needs strong men. Sisters, the church needs you. The body of Christ needs strong women to help us, to strengthen us, to advance the kingdom. Father, I pray now that the simplicity of this message would have touched the hearts and minds of every person that they will say, I'm ready to get involved. I'm ready to connect. I'm going to use what I've been equipped to do to advance the kingdom, to promote the ministry, to be a part of the ministry of not only inreach the family, the body of Christ, but also outreach so that we can be a light to be helpers around us. Thank you now, Lord, that many have recommitted themselves to be a part of the ministry. In Jesus' name, amen.